Duxiada, Nora Dean, Nora Dean is coolis. Okay, class, welcome back. Um, we were studying. Uh, simple present and simple past. It was a revision and I think you have seen so many times. Right now, this is the center of our lesson. We need to change from active voice into past voice. Present simple and simple past. Here we have got some activity. I have got one aim in here and I want you to understand at the end of this lesson. By the end of this lesson, you know the, the, our topic is active and passive voices. Active and passive voices. My aim is, by the end of this lesson, learners should be able to, this one, change active voice into passive voice and vice versa. What does it mean, vice versa? We are changing from passive to active, the vice versa. In two tenses. The two tenses are symbol present and symbol past. These two tenses are our target. We don't need to use others, we are using these two now. Okay, here is an activity. Change. Change the following active sentences into passive sentences or passive voice. These are active. I want you to change into passive. And we have seen in the introductory lesson Passive voice and active voice. What are the differences between them? And I think you have all understood this. Here we have got Hamda. This we are starting with symbol present. Hamda cooks food. Hamda cooks food. Remember, when we are using symbol when we are using passive and active voice, we are starting with the subject of the sentence when it comes to active sentences. But when we are using, uh, instead of using, instead of starting subject, we are starting with the object of that uh, sentence. Here is the verb, hamda, and here is, here is the subject, and this is the verb, books, and here is the object, wood. So it can be formed like this, food, is keep in mind there is only one thing that you have to keep in mind when you want to change uh, active sentences into passive. So we are using verb 3 or past participle. There is one thing that you have to think about them. Uh, it is a little bit challenging if the verb is regular or irregular. Regular verbs we only add ed in their past forms and past participle, but if it is irregular, we are, there are so many changes. Maybe it changes, maybe we don't change, maybe there are so many changes. So here we have got cooks. This cook is a, this is regular, so we just say the food is, food is cooked, is cooked. Number two. Ahmed explains the lessons. Here we have got our subject is Ahmed, and this is our verb, and this is the lessons. This is the object. We are starting with this. The lessons. The lessons. Here it's a plural, so we are using R. If the subject is singular, we are using is, but if the subject is singular, we are using R. The lesson is R. Explains, explain it. The lessons are explain it. 
They play basketball every morning. They play basketball every morning. Here is the subject. This is the verb, and this is a predicate or the object. We can say basketball. Basketball is played. Basketball is played every morning. Basketball is played every morning. You can keep like this, or if you want, you add agent by. This is a singular uh, subject pronoun, but if we change into object pronoun, it will change into them. Basketball is played by them. Number four, he studies. He studies many subjects at Nuruddin Secondary School. He studies many subjects at Nuruddin Secondary School. Here is the subject, and this is the verb, and this is the object. So we can start like this, many, many subjects, subjects, many subjects. This is the plural, so we are using R. Many subjects are steady. At Nuruddin Secondary School. Secondary School. N many subjects are studied at Nuruddin Secondary School. Let's continue. They pass the final examination every year. They pass the final examination every year. Here is the subject. Sorry. Here is the subject. We have got also here the verb. And this is the object, the final examination. We can start with the final examination. The final examination. The final examination. Is here we have got pass. When it comes to pass and pass participle, there is no difference. We add only ed. The final examination is pass it. Is pass it every year. Every year. Up to now, we have seen active sentences and we change it into passive. Let's come to the first verse. Change the following sentences or passive sentences into active sentences. In the previous examples, we have seen active sentences and we change it into passive sentences. Now we have given passive sentences and we are required to change into um, Active. We are taught grammar by Abdullah. We are taught grammar by Abdullah. Here is the subject we. We are taught. We are taught grammar by Abdullah. Here. The subject is here. We can say Abdullah. Abdullah, where's the verb? Here, yes. Taught. This is a regular verb. When it comes to it, this space form, how can we write like this? Taught, teach. Abdullah, teach. Here is a singular, so it is third personal pronoun. So we are required to add ES. Abdullah, teach. Here is we. If we change into object pronoun, we change into 
us. Abdullah teaches us grammar. Abdullah teaches us grammar. Okay, I think you got it. Number two, here is seven, but in this form, this is number two. The room is cleaned by them. They, by them. Here is our subject. Change this into subject pronoun. So this is them, they. They, where's the verb? Here. They, if the subject is singular, we use to add ES or S in their simple present forms. But if the subject is plural, we don't need to change. We will keep us, it is base form. They clean. They clean the room. They clean the room. Simply, that is it. The doors are broken by the students. Maybe they were playing and they broke some, do uh, some doors. The doors are broken by the students. By the students, this is our subject. The students, the students. Here is the plural subject. The students, here we have got broken. It's a regular verb. When it comes to it is space form, we can write like this, break. The students, we don't need to add ES. The students break, break the doors. Number nine. A masjid is built by Abdurrahman. A masjid, this is a very good job. This is a place that we go when we want to pray. It's a very sacred place. It's a holy place. We love it. We need to stay more. A masjid is built by Abdurrahman. This is our subject. We have to start with Abdurrahman. Abdurrahman. We don't need to add a uh, use by because by it comes when it comes from active to passive. So Abdurrahman, Abdurrahman here is a build, and this is a singular subject. Abdurrahman builds a masjid. A masjid. Our final sentence, the windows are painted by him. The windows are painted by him. Where's our subject now? Here is the subject, but now when it comes to, it is origin, our subject is here. Here is him, when we change into sub, uh, subject pronoun, it becomes he, he, here is painted, this is a past participle. If we go back to its origin, we can say paint, he, paint. Here is a singular, third personal pronoun, he, he paints, he paints the windows. He paints the windows. Okay, that's all for the present symbol. Let us see the symbol past tense. Symbol past tense, as you all know that it's used for an action that happened in the past and completed at a specified time. For example, I played football yesterday. Yesterday it finished it and that action has already completed. When I played, it is a past, yesterday, at the specified time. Simple past tense change the following active sentences into passive sentences. 
he he read before we start you have to keep in mind if the subject is a singular we are using was and if the subject is plural we are using were when it comes to from simple past active sentences into uh, passive sentences so in here we have he he read the book he read the book i said to you in the beginning you have to keep in mind two things if the verb is uh, regular or irregular now this is irregular we can keep like this when we are writing but when we are pronouncing we pronounce as red like the color red he read the book we can change like this the book the book was the book was red this is a regular verb so keep in mind please the book was read she wrote several stories she wrote here is the subject she and the verb is wrote this is also a regular verb she wrote several stories we can start like this several several stories was or were yes were because it is a plural several stories were here we have wrote thus when it's base form it is right and then wrote and past participle is the several stories were written by her the book was read by him let's complete them they decorated the houses yesterday they decorated the houses yesterday for example like this occasion ramadan time people always decorate their homes and they fast in the daytime they pray so they dec decorate in order to prepare uh, in the feast celebrations they decorated the houses yesterday they this is the subject decorated is the verb and the houses is uh, object the houses the houses what do you think here is the houses was or were where the houses were the houses were decorated decorated the houses were decorated by them we built a masjid we built a masjid we have seen so several uh, irregular verbs we built a masjid let's start with the object a masjid a a masjid a masjid also keep in mind when it comes to the beginning of every sentence you have to start with a capital letter a masjid was or where a masjid was built a masjid was built by we by us the final sentence of this form from active to passive voice in simple past you Ver the cat you ver the cat you ver the cat okay let's start with the cat was or were was ver 
it was verb in their present forms, and then we, when we change into past and past participle, we say verb. The cat was verb by you. Please take this one as a homework. Here is a passive sentences you are going to change into their original uh, active sentences. That is all for today. See you soon in this platform. Thank you so much.